I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The purpose of this exercise is to practice decision making through the Charleston and through the pick and discard phase of the game for four hands at one time. It's not for the faint of heart. I've messed up many a game. If you decide to try this exercise, look for links in the video description below for how I set up my racks. And also, don't forget to download the Charleston Helper. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each player's hand and make a plan for their tiles. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. We have a Joker, Flower, White, Dragon, Pung of one Bams, Pair of two Bams, Pair seven Bam, Single nine Bam, Single five Crack, and a four eight in Dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play either something consecutive with one, two, or maybe a year hand. So I would break up the sevens, pass one of each suit. Maybe that would be better. We have a good pass, maybe, that's okay. That's an okay pass for next time around. I think I'd pass those first. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as South. We have a joker, a flower, north, red, white, a one dot, two, three, five, seven in cracks, six, eight in bams with a pair of eights. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd build around the eight. Eight flower, maybe news with eights. We could maybe do something consecutive with dragons. We could maybe do something with evens. So I would pass these one, seven, three for the first pass. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. We have a couple of jokers, a flower, west and south, red dragon, six, seven, eight in dots, four, five, six in bams, and a nine crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd probably start with like numbers with sixes and news. Anytime I have wins, a flower, and like number potential, I will see if we can make that happen. And then I'll pull in a plan B, like maybe consecutive run. So like numbers with sixes and news, or maybe six, seven, eight consecutive run. We do have four, five, six, seven here. Four, five, six, seven. 
two tiles to pass, so something has to go. I see some pretty good potential getting a wind in the Charleston a lot of times, so I think I would let that be my primary. Four, five, six, seven. Let's let the eight go because four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, there's no gaps there. They're all singles, but there is potential there. So let's just see what happens. And we'll look and see what we can do for player four, also known as North. We have a pair of flowers, west and south, six, nine in bams, seven, nine in cracks, one, three, five in dots, with a pair of five dots, pair of nine crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I probably would play like numbers with nines and news. There's also one, three, five flower, but we need to pick a hand because we only have two tiles to pass. Here we're using seven tiles, no gaps. Here, six tiles, no gaps. So I would let this go and go with the one that uses most of our tiles. All right, we're ready to do the Charleston. We're gonna do first right. East to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. We got a year tile, so I would keep it. So let's see, we can make this a little better. One of each suit. This is going to be a little bit of a risky pass if we get everything we want. We could maybe make it a little better by passing that instead. Seven, nine. Instead of seven, nine and two suits. Set ourselves up for success on the next. Or mitigate the risk now and see if we can let something go to make this better. I think I'd rather do that. One of each suit. We got a seven and we got an eight. Ooh, there's a multiple five, but I don't think that five is going to help with the eight. Here we have six, seven, eight or seven, eight dragon, seven, eight dragon. We have a run going here. I think I would focus on that. Pass those. We have another seven. We are thinking like numbers with sixes. Now we could do like numbers with sixes or sevens. So let's let those go and focus on like numbers. We've got options in there now. So let's pass those three, one of each suit. We picked up a nine for like numbers with news. Let's break up the five. I don't want to get stuck with a pair if we get everything we want. So we're going to go across east and west, north and south. We got a year tile or we could switch to like numbers with ones. Here's one, one. Let's pass, it's six, one half dozen the other. Let's pass those three right there. No keeper. Oh wait, yes, we have a keeper right there. So these are our discards here for the concealed hand. We have two multiples now. Since the red dragon goes with cracks, we could maybe switch to, to like numbers with dragons, but we've got two big gaps, so that would be a major long shot. I was just thinking maybe we could keep this, but with that, 
that doesn't go with this. Either way, we do have one of each suit to pass, but we could, yeah, 265 versus 268, those are all evens. Let's keep that and pass that and just see what happens. It'll probably go away. We got a seven, so like numbers with sevens, it is. Oh, look, we picked up fours. But we have a multiple in there. I would go with the sevens. Probably pass these. Six, nine, and two suits. Oh, we got a keeper, north. Like numbers with nines and news. Okay, and we have three tasks to pass. So now we're going to do first left. So now east goes to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. We got a keeper, maybe a two. We're gonna have to make a choice though. Let's see, if we did, let's see, two, zero, two, one, year hand. Cause I would not pass this, no way. I would break these up and go with the year hand. Pass those. So we're playing a year hand here. Or we could switch to consecutive run. Oh, we got an option. Seven, eight dragon or eight, nine dragon. One of each suit. No keepers. We want sevens and we need east, north and east. Let's see. One of each suit there, but that would be the next pass maybe. Let's go with one of each suit. We're looking for an east and build up our nines. We could do one of each suit here, those three. So we did first left, now we're doing second left. Oh, let's see, what was that, wait. First left, so everybody wants to keep going. So north, east to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. No keepers here. Actually, you know what? We do have some consecutive run coming in here. We could use this maybe for the three and play one through five. Let's pass those and keep that. Let's pass those. Okay, here we've got another run building. Six, seven, eight, nine, dragon. Really, we need seven, eight, seven, eight or eight, nine, dragon if we're gonna use the dragons. So let's do one of each suit. We got a seven for an option. And here we can do three, four, five. That's going to be a little risky, but either we have only one other tile. I mean, we might be able to give up one of these, but I'd rather keep my options and risk passing those. We wanted an east or a nine. We did pick up a multiple there, but we're going into a cross, which is obligatory. So we need to pass that. Four, 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 okay. No keepers. No keepers, we keep getting the six.
Okay, no keepers there. And no keepers there. That was second across. Now we're going to do last right. So east to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. No keepers. No keepers. No keepers. No keepers. We are on optional cross, east and west, north and south. We did get a one for a potential year hand. I would keep those though and discard those. Four, four, okay. East starts with an extra tile. No keepers here. I would just probably discard all those. No keepers there. Discards. And we have discards. So we're done with the Charleston. If you want to be the fifth player, this is when you pause the video. Look at everybody's hand and decide who you think has the best potential to win. Write your guess in the comment section below and include the reason why you think they have the best potential. I'll do the same thing and pick a wind for my guess. I'm going to use this to mark whose turn it is. We're going to start by discarding for East. Let's start by discarding 6 p.m. Nobody wants it. 7 dot. Seven eight nine six seven eight. Let's discard one dot. We're not doing anything really here right now. I wouldn't, we can't even take that no matter what, even if we wanted it. So we're going to draw up here. Eight bam. There's some more consecutive tiles come in here. Six, seven, eight. But our multiple is there. I would stick with the plan. Let's discard 8 bam. Now here, it's this player's turn. This player is probably playing concealed, so we're going to let it go. They could take it for a Kong and play 7, 8, 9, but we wouldn't be able to use this pair, and we have no way to act on these. I'd rather leverage the pair and stay concealed. Oopsies. Red dragon. Nines. I would discard it. Dragons are kind of a hot commodity, so if I'm not using them, I discard them early. Here, we don't need a seven bam. Here, not ready. Plus, they're probably playing concealed. Okay, six, six crack. Let's discard. Let's see here. We were thinking maybe like numbers with eights, but let's discard this because we could play six, seven, eight, nine. So let's just hold on to those. We'll make a decision when those go away. Kind of plan B. Four dot. Eight dot was thrown. Seven dot. Here. We could call it right here for that, but 
we have an option. I'd rather wait because we could still wait on maybe the seven bam or use a joker because we have a very risky block of singles and we only have two. If we had one more wind, I might take it. But because we're missing two north and east, I don't think I would take it. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe let the news go and play all sevens. Hmm. Let's go ahead and take it. We're going to Kong. We could still play news with sevens. So we're going to discard three dot. Three dot. Nobody wants it. We're going to draw up here. Five bam. We need nines. Maybe, well, no, let's see. We have a pung in there. We need to stick with it. Let's discard three crack. Down here, we're going to draw two bam. That's a keeper, probably. One, two, five. We really don't need the five dot. And nobody wants a five dot. It's this player's turn. No keeper, but we do get a joker exchange. Exchange, please. Thank you. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. There. <laughs> okay. So now this can go away. And we have a joker and two jokers in here for our concealed hand. So now let's discard two crack. Now this player can't take it. They only have one joker for a potential year hand. So that was this player here. Okay. Let's see, four, four. Okay, it's this player's turn. Five bam. Let's see what's been thrown. Let's discard four dot. Nobody wants it up here. Four bam. We want nines. Okay, four dot. Down here, east. Three bam. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, Kongs. I would let go of that year hand and play one, two, three, Kongs, probably. Kong, Kong, build up. But we could still maybe play one through five. Let's just see. We have tiles we can let go of. Let's see. We need to discard. Two crack was discarded, so was a one dot. Let's discard one dot. This player's turn. Flower. We need that for our concealed hand. So let's discard six dot. And nobody wants six dot. We'll draw for west. Five dot. That's out, I think. Yep, five dot. Drawing for north. Four bam. All right, let's hold on to that for maybe joker bait. We'll discard five dot. If you don't know what joker bait is, I have a bunch of videos that demonstrate how that strategy works. That is a strategy that uh, is the brainchild of Tom Sloper of Sloperama. Look for links in the video description below for those videos. We're going to draw down here, but here too, we could maybe pung and play one, two, three, four, five, and pung for that. We have to make a choice. That's the first four bam out. We could wait to see if maybe we draw a three because we're closer to this one through three than we are one through five, and we'd have to let a one go. I would wait. I would wait and see if the other four comes. Let's draw. 
four crack. Let's discard two crack. It's already been thrown. Four crack. Eight bam. We're, we want sevens. Six crack. Four bam. We got it ourselves. So now we can use that joker with the three, and I probably would, now that we built that up, I probably would play one through five. Let's discard this white dragon. Two crack. Last tile, second wall. Two dot. It's this player's turn. We're going into the middle game. Okay, so we have a flower. We don't need that for news with nines. Let's discard six bam. We'll just keep it for a bit. If we build up wins, maybe we could switch to a quint. We're gonna need jokers though too. At least one. Let's draw. One dot. West, we don't need that. Drawing four west, three dot. Drawing for north, we need a keeper, seven dot. We're gonna exchange for a seven dot. When you play solitaire, try to keep an eye, there's a lot to juggle, so try to keep an eye on exposures for joker exchange. Thank you, we need it. And now we're gonna discard five bam. Oh, we need a pair for that down here. Nine crack. It's this player's turn, but up here we're gonna Kong. Maybe we can switch to a Quint. Let's discard four bam. This player's turn, we're gonna Pung. Okay, now we need to let these go. Because we're playing, oop, we need that five right there, one through five. So this is the riskiest discard, let's let that go. And we're up here now. So flower was thrown, really nobody can take it except this player. They could maybe quint and play seven, eight, nine Pair Pung Kong, but I wouldn't do that. We have a long way to go right there. And this player threw in uh, Kong to nine. They could be in nines, so I wouldn't risk that with only a single nine. So I would let it go here. Here we need a pair, and up here we need a quint. This player could quint with that, but I don't think I would. That's the first flower out, more will come. I'd rather draw and save this for the potential quint or maybe news with nines and let one go. So I would let that go and draw for this player. One crack. Green, don't need it, it's a dragon. Nobody's playing dragons. Well, seemingly, let's draw. Dragon just went down. Joker, we need that. They're set now. Let's discard a one bam. Kind of throw them off the scent a little bit. Maybe they'll think, oh, they're not playing consecutive. They're probably playing evens. East, we don't need it. These two players need it badly. 
So there's an east and a west out. More to come. Two dot. Three crack. White dragon. One crack. Not getting keepers. Three bam. That's down here. Ooh, Kong. Okay, now we have three, four jokers. We're ready on a five bam. Everybody should be on high alert for crack. So three, four, there's only one hand. This could be the very first hand. East, that's the second one out. Four crack, now here. If I know what hand someone is playing and we're in the early, early part of the game, we're in the middle of the middle game actually. Still pretty early, we're like halfway through. I would actually discard my riskiest tile because I would hope that the player's not ready to win yet. Now we could fold here because we do have their tile. But if I'm playing, I might think, oh, they can't be ready to win yet. It's too early. And there's a five bam out. They let that go. So this is kind of what goes through my mind. I have the risky tile. The longer I hold it, the more risky it's going to get. So if I want to play to win, we have no gaps, but East are going down. We still have a backup with sevens. We need more flowers. And at least one player let a flower go. So more flowers would come. I think what I would do here is discard the five bam because that is the riskiest tile and I still want to play to win. So I would discard this five bam. And of course this player is ready to win in this case. So we're just going to put them down here. For consecutive run, one through five, thrown by this player. So we're going to, let's see, I guess there's no way to identify this player through it. All right. So this, this is a 25-point hand. These two players would pay 25. This player would pay 50 because they discarded it. Who did you bet on? And did you bet on the right person? I did. I bet on this person because they had a strong multiple with another multiple, a pair. I think they had a pung and a pair plus a joker. So I thought they had a pretty good chance to win either a year hand or consecutive run. And that's why I bet on this player. I think this player I also considered because they had no gaps and a joker, I think, because they exchanged it up here. This player got somewhat close, but they're playing concealed and that's a challenge. This player needed an east up there and build up the nine. They got close too. And this player didn't do too bad, but these two wind hands with news, east were going down. So it was getting more and more risky. East had an early win. They needed that five bam. But because they had only two exposures, it's hard to know which of the remaining three exposures they needed to complete. For West, who threw the five bam, they had a plan A and a plan B. Their plan A was going down with those East, but they had no gaps in plan B and a big old long wall left to help them build their hand. So they had potential. I would have thrown the tile. Would you? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.